A woman decapitated, her body thrown into a quiet street on Long Island. Police say by her own son. Neighbors thought it was a Halloween prank, but it was very real. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Tonight, relatives are giving a glimpse into what happened in the months leading up to last night. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff has the new information from Farmingdale. Rain washed the bloodstained street in Farmingdale where a horror unfolded last night in front of stunned neighbors. I'm horrified that I actually was standing right in the car, saw a head, saw a body, dismissed it as a Halloween prank. It was no prank. Nassau police say the severed head and body were that of 66-year-old Patricia Ward, decapitated by her 35-year-old son. After killing her in the apartment they shared, police say Derek Ward dragged her downstairs through the lobby, then to Secatog Avenue. A half an hour later, committing suicide, throwing himself in front of a movie Long Island Railroad train. We do have an arrest record for Derek dating back to 2003. Arrests for criminal mischief, weapons, and drug possession, and a history of mental illness, too. Too shaken, he said, to speak on camera. Patricia Ward's brother told me Derek battled mental illness for years, something police say escalated. According to people we spoke with, due to death, due to the death of his paternal grandfather. And relatives say just two months before this unthinkable murder-suicide, Derek Ward was discharged from care at a psychiatric hospital. At Farmingdale State College, there's disbelief and tears for Patricia Ward, a language professor. We're all in shock. I mean, she was uh, here for 28 years. She was well-known, well-liked, and well-respected. Whatever mental health treatment Derek Ward was getting, family members told me tonight they do not think it was adequate. They say they plan to issue a public statement on Thursday. In Farmingdale, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.